When we were kind of developing the menu for the dessert bar, we weren't sure if we wanted to do something too Asian because this is Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and we were actually kind of scared that people wouldn't receive our product super well or like they would want to stick with some basic flavors like chocolate or vanilla or strawberry. But we decided, you know what, this is the greatest chance that we have to take to show people what we're proud of. All the different unique tastes and textures that don't really exist in American cooking or culture. My name is Amy, I'm the founder of Kitsby, and we opened our dessert bar uh, two years ago. So we focus mostly on Asian American nostalgia. It's really near and dear to my heart. My uh, dad is from Taiwan and my mom is from Fuzhou, China. Ever since I was a kid, I loved baking. My family owned a restaurant. One of the first things that I learned how to bake was a cheesecake. And my dad put that on the menu for dessert every week. And that was kind of my first exposure to baking. Asian American harassment has been very prevalent, especially in Asian communities, where I didn't expect that would happen just because there's so many Asians around you. So we wanted to make this huge initiative for Asian American Heritage Month. This is the time for us to tell people that we're super proud of being Asian. And there's four different desserts in this collection. Each one is a little bit different on its own in terms of like ideas, inspirations, all from people's kind of childhood and background. For the month of May, we are donating 15% of our profits from all of our sales uh, to AAPI Relief Fund. It was kind of enlightening to see that we can be the role models for all the Asian American children out there who aren't too sure about their identity. Ever since doing Kitsby, I feel like this is my mission, is not necessarily just to do with dessert, but mostly to uh, spread Asian culture.